got this. I've got this. How do I look? How do I look? We're running. <laughs> Give us your car keys. I think we're gonna die. This is a lot of pain. What the f hey? And we're waiting for the fountains to explode. Please send help. Today we are gonna be completing a marathon in the world's largest mall. We are going to be spending the next eight to ten hours completing a variety of challenges all throughout the mall, and we've got a massive group of friends joining us as well. So it should be quite the adventure. Let's get going. Let's do it. Started. <laughs> go, go, go. So we've made it inside the mall now and the challenge has begun. We've already done about one kilometre just from walking from Burge Park. <laughs> so it's currently about 9.30 in the morning and Dubai Mall is completely empty. A lot of the shops are still shut and we're waiting for stuff to open at 10 a.m. I think we've got some friends joining us pretty soon already. Oh my God, is that Jake and Ailish? Are you, this is really are you, cool. Yeah, my new camera. Are you ready to join us for a marathon? Yeah, I'm absolutely. We're running it, yeah? <laughs> Completing it is the answer. <laughs> so Jake was just saying, it's harder to, what? As someone who's, who's done a few, um, and quite a few on ultra endurance events, like it, it's actually harder to, to walk a marathon than it is to run it. You've just got to keep a good pace up. Okay, right, yeah, see ya. <laughs> so for challenge number one, on our number one, we are going to be doing time trials on who can race up the escalator the fastest. Who do we think is going to be the fastest? Me. Jake. 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 <laughs> okay. I think I've got a good shot. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Six seconds, 28. So we are now one and a half hours in and we've done about five kilometers and we've stopped for our first coffee of the day at Pete's. We're trying to keep the steps going while we're waiting for the coffee. Go in a circle. How did you do your marathon in circles? So we've already been stopped on the first challenge because we were running up the escalator, maybe a bit stupid, but Jake definitely beat my time. Um, but now we're on to, what are we on? Mile four? Are, kilometer yeah, four? Yeah, I think kilometer five we're on, so that's like three miles. And we're about an hour and a half in. Yeah, we need to pick up the there pace because we've got eight more. So we've made it into the metro and we are going to be seeing how far the walk actually is. If you know Dubai Metro, you know it's a nightmare. But how long of a nightmare is it? And now our task is to see how far it is to go from the metro all the way to Dubai Mall. Here's a hint, it's a long way. So we are starting at 9.54 kilometers. Right, what is everyone's guess is how far do you think? I think it's 1.2K. One. One? I was going to go one as well. Okay, I'm going to go 0.8. So we've all got a range. So we're two hours and 40 minutes in and we have done our first 10K and that is a quarter of the way there. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. My feet are a bit sore, but it's good progress. 10K is good. And we're still walking from the Dubai Metro because it's forever. <laughs> so we've made it into Dubai Mall and the total was 0.95 kilometers. Oh, okay. Wow, so you were closer. So you were closest. Wow. I fully I, like, got that wrong. I really <laughs> thought it was going to be a lot more to be fair. It felt like five kilometers. It's still not, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Jake and Ailish? <laughs> You're still here. One advantage of doing this challenge is we have all the shops here so we can literally buy whatever we need and I made the fatal error of wearing some really bad shorts so I'm going to buy some in Decathlon. We're now passing the aquarium and I've got myself one of the little gels that you have when you're doing a proper run. Um, I've never tried one so I'm going to give Lemon Sublime, oh Lemon Sublime, a go. Oh, Oh my god, I'm never doing that again. That is disgusting. So we've got a little bit of downtime now, so our next challenge is going to be... Okay, so we have a budget of 100 dirham. We're going to go around the mall and we're going to find an outfit or an item of clothing for each of us. The rules are nothing that goes on your head so we don't stand up too much, but we're going to spend the next 40 minutes going around the mall and finding something that Brad has to wear and then something that I have to wear as well. I'm going to win. You yeah, are going to look crazy. <laughs> okay, so I already have a plan. I think we're going to go to Daiso, which is like a really cheap store where everything is like seven dirham and I'm going to get a load of stuff for under a hundred dirham. I feel that like Ellie's plan might be to get one big thing for a hundred dirham. I'm going to go the opposite way. What do you think? I think we should get a, like a touristy stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, like a Dubai. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I love Dubai t-shirt. <laughs> And then, then when people see her filming, they just think she's like a mad tourist. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've already seen something. Camel backpack, 45 dirham, it's in budget. We said nothing on the head, but nothing around the head. Spider man goggles, gloves. Is that really mean? Because it's so hot in here. There's a bow tie, seven dirham. Seven dirham for a bow tie, should we do that? I think that's one. Found a neck cooler, maybe this. That's kind of a nice thing because it's so hot in the mall. We're going with the bow tie for seven dirham and the backpack for 45 dirham. 
I think I found the most touristy t-shirts we possibly can. I want a camel or a Burj Khalifa or I love Dubai. Whoa, look at the floor. Right, here we go, more t-shirts. Oh, sparkly, Dubai. We've been looking for a dodgy t-shirt for about 20 minutes. We've only got 10 minutes left, so we've come back to Decathlon. I think I'm gonna try and get some shin pads or some sporty piece of equipment that she has to wear. 29 dirham shin guards. You need some shin protection for when you're running a marathon. I'm scared. I'm intrigued. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I feel like I could have done better. It was pretty challenging, it was actually. Like the 100 dirham budget didn't allow for much. I got three items. I mean, just firstly to say, from the size of the bag, I feel like Brad might have won this. I think I did pretty we'll, well. We'll, we'll see, right. Uh, Shall we swap and open? Swap and open them at the same time. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to wear that. <laughs> so you've got a backpack. Shin pad. Shin pad. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get stopped with this. And a bow tie. And a bow tie. Right. Come on, put your outfit on. Oh my goodness, how do I look? <laughs> how do I look? I don't know who's got it worse, actually. Can I wear this like a belt? You can wear it, you can wear it how you like it. I'm going to get touched out this morning. How's that? Shin pads, bag, bow tie. <laughs> right, you, you, this I was shot. you win. Okay, great. You Challenge win. one to me. This right, for the next, protection. what do you think? For one kilometre, we wear this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It'll be one kilometre. Right, there. let's get going. So we've made it into Decathlon and we have some special guests. Say hello. Hello. Are you ready to play some games? Yes. Let's do it. Right, Mason, go find a football. Run. <laughs> He's too fast for me. We definitely couldn't run this. Five, five, five in a row. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, I'm gonna say I can do three. One, oh, one. How do you do it? One, two, two, four, five, six. Woo! Oh. Twelve. Twelve. Wow, Mason, you, you got done. It's the <laughs> one, two, three, uh, five. Oh. You know what this one is? This is so you can go for a poo when you go camping. Yeah, it's a toilet. <laughs> we forgot that we need to keep the steps going while we're playing these games, so now I'm just walking in circles. Carnage! <laughs> My skirt's gonna get caught in. <laughs> I don't see this going well. <laughs> Do a kickflip. <laughs> we do need to keep moving. <laughs> okay, ready, go, punch. Da, 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 da. Whoa! Yeah! So we have suffered for one kilometre with our stuff. It's time to take it off. The bag's gonna go for now. <laughs> you gotta keep it though. It's I'll a keep bag. it. Maybe it. On the final kilometre, I'll bring it back. Same with the scarf. So we have ventured into the food court. It's time for some food. It's, what is it, one o'clock? It is half past one. We've done 16 kilometres. What food are you going to get? I'm not sure. Something like Matthews probably. Oh. Something quick and easy but delicious. Oh, I was thinking healthy. Yeah. If we're doing this. We've got a thousand calories so far. Yeah, a thousand so calories. So we've got room for a Matthews. We can eat whatever we want. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the family have abandoned us for a nice meal while we have to deal with food court food and eating while walking. <laughs> yeah. A bit it's, uh, slow. It's, it's, it could be 12 hours if we stick at the same pace. So we need to get it we, down. We need to get going. What have you got? KFC okay, chicken popcorn. Mmm, lovely. We're just enjoying our lunch at Marks and Spencer's while well, Brad is suffering <coughs> or eating while well, walking. Okay. So we've both gone with very different food. Yeah. I have a salad and I have a, a quarter pound of cheese, large fries, and the biggest Fanta. I've ever seen in my life. I got a carrot juice. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a nice lunch? Oh my God. Relaxing <laughs> while we've yeah, been running a marathon. Oh, oh, biscuits. I just saw some free samples. So, what is it? That's milk chocolate. Oh, oh it's tea cake. Thank right? you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we are now five hours and 25 minutes into the marathon. And we've done about 19 and a half kilometers and we're joined by Darren, who has got a challenge for us. What's your challenge? Uh, give us your car keys. Nothing good starts with give me your car keys. <laughs> there you go. Come find it later on. Okay, <laughs> Darren's gonna go and move the car. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> 
Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So we've got Darren moving the car to somewhere in the car park and we're going to have to find it later. Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have to see where it is. That's, it's going to keep us occupied, I think, for the next, well, maybe an hour. Could be longer <laughs> if we can't find the car. We can get our steps in as well Absolutely. in the car park. <laughs> right, this, uh, we're going to go and meet some of our friends now, Mike and Phil, to do some more challenges while Darren moves the car. The double bluff would work. Keep it on the same level. Would you expect that? How long is it to the Emirates? Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are driving a car around the Dubai Mall while Bradley stupidly walks a marathon. So we've just got a message from Darren who's moving the car and he said does anyone know how to get from Mall of the Emirates to Dubai Mall? If he's moved my car to Mall of the Emirates I'm going to lose it. We're now going down to meet uh, someone who I think is subscribed to the channel who I've not met before so let's go and see. Wow that's mad. Six, Six hours. hours and we're only halfway. That means 12 hours. So Sandeep has just joined us for a minute and he's just told me that he's already done a challenge similar to this and done 50,000 steps in the mall before. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Where did you yeah. do it? It, it was in Dubai Hills Mall. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. but not as big as here, so yeah, maybe I mean, a bit more boring? It's emptier, that's why I like going there. Yeah, like, yeah. This mall is just like too packed for me. Yeah, and it's Unlike made, it made the challenge harder for us yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, on to the next five kilometers. So we've just been joined by Mike. Hi, Mike. Hello, hello. Welcome to the vlog. Right now, Darren is moving my car and you're going to help us try and find it. Okay. So we have to ch pick up okay. a floor of the mall each to go and find it in. Sounds fun. Great. Okay. It's hard to try and live stream and vlog at the same time. This would have been the perfect spot. Although, no, you could have seen that street from there. I think we found the perfect spot. In between two, there's a pillar, a couple of pillars there. I think that's perfect. Let's do it. Let's see if we can find that. Appreciate Gak coffee and make it look like we've been driving for a lot longer. Is it in Marina Mall? It's in Dubai. <laughs> it doesn't help. Well, Brad and his team all look for the car. We're gonna get a coffee. So the team have assembled, we've got everyone here and we are gonna take a floor each of this car park. It's somewhere in Fashion Avenue. We're hoping it's not at the top because that's where we started, but maybe Darren was sneaky. This is uh, very hard. So we're gonna pick a floor each and get going. Right, we've got one, two, three, four teams. Right, you guys go to P11. You guys go to P10. Yeah. So you should go like P11 yeah. and P9. So the 11 can come down. P11, once you're done there, you go to P10. P9, once you're done, you go to P8. P7, once you're done, you go down to P6. We're gonna go P5. Yeah, we have a plan. Right, team, go. <laughs> right, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I think if we cut through and then look up and down, that will be a good strategy. He might have put it in like the end. Yeah, I think he's going to put it in the very end corner as well. Just watch the car. I just thought I'm the only one with the car keys. So I, I'm the one that has to go and get it up. Okay, I'll look left, you look right. Okay, so to get our steps in, we're actually going to jog a little bit around the car park because uh, we can't really jog around the mall and we're a little bit behind on time. Right, we're going to P6 and then P7. <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder than we expected. Covering us off, covering us off. Okay, honestly, I don't know where it is. How are we ever going to find it? <laughs> we're running. Jake's found it. Arabella found it. Let's check the number plate. You found it. We found the car. You found it already. P6. Okay, we're coming. What did you find, Arabella? The green car. Whose car is it? Okay, so we were on P5 with no success, and Eb phoned us telling us it's on P6. So we are now going to try and find them. They said at the back. Which back? I don't know. God. This isn't fair. I've already done 22 kilometers. Wow. Well done! No way! You found it! Well done! Is it the right car though? Yeah. Does it unlock? Oh, success. Well that didn't take us long. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh my god. 
No, it's okay, thank you. Honestly, this shop, there is about 500 staff in Saraf DG. You see these yellow shirts behind me? All of them want to help. <laughs> We've come speaker shopping to try and find a karaoke machine. You need a mic. A mic? Right there, 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 there. Oh. Go. Sing. All the small things to get to bring <laughs> One is your right best trip always I know you'll be at my show watching waiting commiserating <laughs> Everyone, thank you. Subscribe to Leader of No One, thank you. Well, if you want to party, come to Saraf DG. That was fun. <laughs> That's karaoke in the mall, done. Why did you leave? Because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been joined by some more guests, Andy and Lizzie. And Andy has suggested where? A Chinese supermarket in Chinatown. So we're now in Chinatown. Our legs are killing us. I think we're going to die. So we have currently done 26.6 kilometers and we're seven hours in. Our time's very bad and I'm worried. So time for snacks. Wait, is it, is it Chinese? Chinese Chinese. Yeah. It's all Chinese. So we're now in an Asian supermarket uh, in the Chinatown bit and it has everything. I mean, I can't understand any of the writing, but everything looks very colorful and fun. I'm gonna get some snacks and drinks. Whoa. The team have stopped for a break. We've got all the gang with us and a big panda, but we're feeling pretty, pretty broken right now. We're 27 kilometers in and it's taken us seven hours and 20 minutes. We've got 15 kilometers to go and we're thinking it's gonna take about four hours, but our feet are destroyed. We're gonna try and come up with some more challenges to keep us motivated. Please send help. So we found our volunteers and we are now gonna do hide and seek in the biggest bookshop in Dubai it's Mall. It's gonna be quite the adventure. Yeah, here they all are. We're gonna find <laughs> all of these people behind us. <laughs> right, are you guys all ready to go and hide? Yes. Yes. Right, three, two, one, go. Are you hiding? Go, go, go. <laughs> so we're keeping our steps up right now, giving them some time to go and hide. Are you ready to find? I'm absolutely ready. I'm ready. We're on the hunt. We are on the hunt. You gonna hide, Noah? Yeah. <laughs> nice hiding, buddy. They're never gonna find you there. <laughs> right, we're trying to find a hiding spot. I don't know where we're gonna go. We try to keep blows, you know, see the top of our heads. Wow. It's, it's huge. <laughs> I feel like we can't run or shout because we're in a good shop. It just keeps going with us. <laughs> no. Do you think they're all together? I bet they're all hiding together. They never on so far. This shop does not end. Just, I've seen some movement, I've seen some movement. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Where? Where? Where did they go? Did you see them they went? Found you. Found you. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh, no. <laughs> Just around the room, honestly. You put initially. Right, we've got the first people. That was very poor, actually. Oh, you were running. We thought we did good. Yeah, I know. Oh, there you go. There. That is some excellent hiding skills. <laughs> good hiding skills, Noah. <laughs> good hiding, Noah. <laughs> what, only two more people to find? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe they're in like their favourite section. Are they going to be moving? We've been walking around for five minutes. Yeah, we still haven't caught everyone. There's two people There's missing. Two, two remaining. Andy and Lizzie are pretty good at this. They are. I hope. Are you allowed to move? I feel like that's cheating. Correction, we're missing four people. We've barely got anyone. Oi, we found you! <laughs> Divorce for dummies! <laughs> Flirting for dummies! Did we pass you? Yeah, you were sat there. No down. way! <laughs> oh no! We heard you, you went. <laughs> okay, so we are 8 hours and 30 kilometres into the marathon. And our next challenge, Lizzie has thought of something for us, so what have we got to do? The first person to go and find a chocolate fountain. Right, the race is on. Let's go. Let's go find one. <laughs> so I've left all the others because they were slowing me down and me and Ellie have split up to try and find a chocolate fountain first. My mission is to get down here where I know there's some chocolate shops, which I think might have it. I'm hoping I'm gonna win the challenge with 30 kilometers in. 
and we're seeing the final quarter of the challenge. Come on, that must count as a chocolate fountain. Oh no, it's water. Do you have like a chocolate fountain? Chocolate fountain, we only have like this one. Is this water or is it chocolate? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's water. Okay, it's no worries, thank you. Thank you. The very nice lady in there told me that that is not chocolate, it is water, so I'm on a hunt still. Looking for a fountain. Five different chocolate shops and still nothing. I remember there being one in an Italian restaurant down the bottom here, and I'm praying that it's still here. Oh no, it's water again. Oh, why does everyone lie? They're all water instead of actual chocolate. Hey, do you have a chocolate fountain? fountain? Yeah, like chocolate, like falling down. You don't have them. Okay, Ellie's just messaged and said she's found one. It's still in the box and not running, so I don't think that counts, but this challenge has taken way too long, so we're gonna let her have this one. We're gonna go and find her. And uh, welcome Dylan and Aya. Hi. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I thought we were looking for a running one. A running one? I thought we were looking for one with chocolate. Oh, what? Okay, maybe right, we're, we'll here. let you have this it's one. down here. Where? I need the proof. <laughs> I don't think that counts, but I've had enough of this challenge, so let's go. So let's go. I, do, I found ones, but it was water. Oh. Okay, so we've got another challenge. Uh, so Dylan and Aya have come, and Dylan has a challenge for us. So I've got my shoes that are damaged, and okay. I want to repair my shoes. Where can I repair my shoes at Dubai Mall? Well, luckily, I know every single inch of this mall, and I'm into shoes. So Dylan, come with me. So Dylan, what did you do to break your shoes? I think they're just kind of old, and I took them on sand, and I've... Uh -oh. Managed to rip the leather on them. Okay. So, yeah. Well, luckily, we're actually already in level shoes because we were right next to it, <laughs> and the shop is literally over here. This is just us helping people now. It's yeah, like help, helping tasks. <laughs> there you go, Dylan. I'm glad we can help. Over to you. <laughs> oh, this is quite cool. Yeah, I've actually got quite a few pairs of shoes repaired here yeah, before. It's nice. So we've done our good deed for the day. We have indeed. And yeah. we're now 30 kilometers in. Yeah. A bit more than that, no, surely? One second. 32. Almost 32. Oh, we're almost at the 10k yeah. mark. But like psychologically, when we know we've only got 10k to go, because we both, we can both run 10k's. Yeah. So yeah. we know that that's within our limits. And the, then we hit 42. Like we've both got good energy, yeah. but it's just the pain. Yeah. It's my feet and like my calves that's mm. like the most sore. So I think for the next challenge, we're gonna to have to keep ourselves going. Yeah. This is this is gonna be one hour to see as many Dubai attractions as we can in Dubai Mall. How many do you think we can do in an hour? I'm gonna say seven. Okay, Ooh. I think we can do eight attractions in an hour. If this. we're quick, if we're quick. Let's do it. Attraction number one, we have the Falling Men Fountain. We have number two, which is the ice rink. We have number three, the giant dinosaur thing. That is nine hours of walking for 33 kilometers. How do you feel? Uh, a bit broken, but I feel like spirits are high. Now we can see the end somewhat, nine kilometers to go. I think we can do it. Oh yeah, oh, that is the end. There's a oh. wall. <laughs> So behind me we've got number four, which is the aquarium, and I would say number five, this massive LED screen. We're stacking them up now. Okay, attraction number six, the Emirates A380 experience. I'm just gonna steal your clip, thank you. <laughs> I can't even be bothered to film with myself anymore. <laughs> I think we're broken. We've reached the point. We're getting KFC for dinner. We have the full support team joining us for a KFC dinner. We're stopping for a quick dinner, five minute rest, and then we are back on the road to complete the final eight kilometers. Stopping is a bad idea. So as Eb has been the camera woman and helped us this whole time, I'm gonna give her my credit card, but to buy me something. That's, just... That's <laughs> okay. not a fair deal. <laughs> Right, okay, you can buy maybe buy yourself something, but nothing too expensive. And Louis you, Vuitton, here you we need go. to get me a pair of Jordans from Jordan. There you go. Good See you luck. Later. So I am a little bit nervous leaving my credit card with Eb to buy me some shoes and whatever she wants. Fingers crossed she knows what I want. There's a pair of shoes that I know that I want in there. So does she know me well enough? Is the answer. What do you think? I think I think she's got it. I think she's gonna nail it. Absolutely. I think Brad would absolutely love these. <laughs> Help. Cheeky little orange pair. Mm. These are the ones. We got the goods. Now I think I should spend a thousand dirham on myself as well. What the f are they? And then nothing, I thought you wanted like Darren's. 
thought you were like Darren's. Don't you like Thanks them? for that, they're really nice. They're a thousand dirhams. They better not be. They're a thousand. <laughs> you said any budget. Thank you. They're horrible. Oh, I've been pranked. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I thought I liked Darren. Thanks, we finished, let's finish the challenge. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. They are fresh, <laughs> they're so <laughs> sick. Okay, well done, good job. I didn't eat a We got you. These are the ones I wanted, thank you. Right, let's get this marathon done. We've got five kilometers to go. It's the incredible Dubai Mall Apple Store. We have decided we're gonna make it outside. Yeah, the time has come. We're at the, the final, the home straight is near, so. How many kilometers? We've done 38, is it? Yeah. About four left, just over four left, I think. Four or five to go, so. We might even try and run. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, we're gonna try. That's the most important thing, we're gonna try. Our feet are destroyed. <laughs> How do people do proper marathons? I, I don't get it, honestly. I always forget how crazy busy it gets out here, especially on a Saturday. All these people are here to see the Burj light up and we're here to complete our marathon. I'm excited, I feel like I've got the last burst of energy. At least we're getting some of the epic views of downtown Dubai here, outside Dubai Mall, where we've almost completed the challenge. We have the Dubai Mall fountains cheering us on behind us as we come into our final two and a half kilometers. We're almost at the 40 kilometer mark and we're gonna start doing some laps around Birch Park. Woo! We've also got Dubai Opera behind us looking very nice as there's shows on tonight and it's getting busy. Okay, oh wow. Okay, we're, we've started running the last three and a half kilometers and it does actually feel better. I mean, it's still a lot of pain. We've got the fountain still going on and we're gonna do a couple laps of Birch Park to see this through. So I didn't really explain, but this is basically an idea I've had for a very, very long time. And when Ellie also had the same idea, we had to do it. This also coincides with me getting 10,000 subscribers, which after years and years of grinding away, I'm so happy to have hit it. So thank you guys for joining me on the journey. There's now 12,000 of you because I'm so slow at getting these big videos out, but thanks for sticking around. Two and a half kilometers left to go. Woo! We got this, come on. We've got half a kilometer left. Our final victory lap. We're gonna run. Let's do this, let's, let's go. go. We are on the last 0.2 kilometers home stretch. We are going exactly where we started and we're waiting for the fountains to explode for us. The fountains have started and we're on our, the last stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. We've got... Oh, oh my God. We've got to keep running now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, they made it. So that is 42.22 kilometers in 11 hours the and 17 ever minutes. to complete a marathon in the Dubai Mall. And I feel like it as well. Broken. That is insane. Oh my God. We've just run the last five kilometers. And now I think we deserve to watch the fountains. Wow, well done guys. Oh. End workout. Wow. 16, 16 minutes on a average for a kilometer. That's not terrible. My average heart rate for 11 hours, 137. That can't be good. You need to run more marathons. <laughs> Just like that. Thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. Thank you to the support team for helping us. <laughs> Woo! Guys. <laughs> on to the next one. Don't forget. What do I say? I don't even know my house. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys somewhere in Dubai next time. Boom. Bye.